Sea biscuit. <laughs> uh, anyway, can you see where I'm going out at night with like a bag of grenades, like going to like the uh, the home of like the CEOs of glue factories, like around the world? You know, just being like, no. Uh, <laughs> not you know, but uh, you know, because it almost seems like the media is always trying to you know find. Like a nickname for a serial killer, like, you know, someone like writes in a letter, you know, well, I guess they wouldn't write in a letter, they'd like post it on like a newspaper's Facebook wall or something. Like, hey, what's up? Just murdered my victim. You'll never find me. Signed, Wolf. Have a nice day. You know, I'm sure like all the newspaper guys get to be like, ah, oh, man, how are we, what are we gonna do about this? Well, uh, I, th I think we should definitely give him a nickname first. Uh, okay, do you, do you have any ideas? Well, Rolf, uh, Rolf. I, I think, I think there was a character in The Sound of Music named Rolf, so, uh, it's just a test run. How about, uh, the hills are alive with the sounds of children screaming in agony. <laughs> How about, uh, Ma Maurice, that, that's not very catchy, I don't think it's gonna work. Okay, okay, wait, all right, this just came to me. Uh, a doe, a deer, a female murdering son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, Maury, I don't, I don't think so. Okay, all right, yeah, no, this is the ace in the hole, gonna pull it out right now. Okay, you are 16, staying at 16 because you just murdered. <laughs> Maury, Maury, you're the cartoonist, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> but, uh, you know, so I, you know, I was thinking of, like, what my nickname would be, and I kind of had thought of a couple that, that didn't work out. One was the Sears serial killer, which is, uh, I would murder people who, who frequently shop at the store Sears. <laughs> because, I mean, they deserve to die, right? Uh, you know, like, I would just, like, loiter around the parking lot, you know, like, some, you know, some, like, Old lady comes up, she's like, excuse me, sir, can you put my card away for me? I'm moderately old, but also very lazy. And I'd be like, why, yes, little old, moderately old lady. I would do so gladly. You know, but so, there's not much thrill in that, so I kind of tossed that idea out. Uh, the second one was the croissant serial killer. And I thought, I thought this was the idea, that I would just murder people who were like eating croissants, like, out on the street, you know, like, I, I would like, hide in a bush with like binoculars, be like, uh, 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 oh, oh, uh, bagel, bagel. Uh, oh, oh, uh, small dog, small dog. I've been there for like eight hours, do, do people not eat croissants anymore? Jesus. Fucking yogurt eaters out here. But then I finally found the best serial killer nickname, the Boombox Serial Killer. And you know what? Because no one suspects anything evil of a guy just like walking around with a boombox, you know? Like, I come across like a cop, he's like, hey, where are you going with that boombox? I'm like, well, uh, I'm going to play it outside the girl I love's home. Uh, and then I'm gonna use it to break the window and go inside and butcher her and her family. <laughs> and I hope you like, you hopeless romantic. Uh, run along, son. <laughs> he'll, he'll, probably, he'll likely be fired, you know, like a week later when the family ends up dead, but... Uh, because, uh... <laughs> You know, and I'll, it'll be very easy to lure my victims, you know, if I'm looking for like a, an older man, like 60s year old, you know, year old, I'll be like walking around with it, and he'll be like, hey, you know, hey, where are you going with the moonwalks? Well, I'm going to listen to the uh, the Best of the Eagles CD, and I'll be like, yeah, I don't know, I get it. And I'll be like, sure, come with me. You know, and I'll like somehow subdue him and put him in the back of my van, in the trunk, drive out to like a secluded area. Tie him up, and I'll, you know, it'll be like a Reservoir Dogs type thing. I'll be like dancing around it like a Taylor Swift song, like, trouble, trouble. And he'll be like, what the fuck, why, why are you dancing? I'll be like, I think you have beer problems on your hands. You, you know, and then maybe I'll play like the song from Annie, like the sun will come out tomorrow, and be like, yeah, but that doesn't apply to you. You'll be dead, don't worry about it. And then, you know, I'll put the boombox down, and I'll like go off 
like uh, into the bushes, and I'll start like rustling some bushes. So I'll be like, oh my god, someone's coming to save me. I'm like, no, no, it's just me. <laughs> no one's coming to save you. Yeah, I planned this out pretty well. Uh, you know, and then the best part, after I come, I'll just leave the boombox playing very loud. I mean, that might attract attention, but you know, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you know, so like some like family nearby be like having a barbecue, like flipping some burgers, you know, like yeah, you know, having a good time. You know, they hit like boys to men, uh, very far out in the distance to be like, yeah, I don't know, boys to men, yeah, our neighbors have a pretty good sense of music. Uh, we don't have, we don't have any neighbors. We live, we live next to the forest. Oh my God, get in the house. Thank you.